Hi, so you are now at my home again, and we're going to talk today about heating and cooling, and mostly talking about heating and cooling at home. And we want to see how the demand for heat and heating and cooling occurs. I think the first thing to look at is what it comes from, and then have a look maybe about how we lose heat. We're going to focus mostly on heating. The cooling situation is kind of the same except kind of driven in reverse. When you're heating, you want to keep the warmth in the house, okay? You want to get heat in the house so you're losing the energy to the surroundings, to anything outside the house. When you're cooling, the heat is outside, you're trying to keep it, cool it down so that you're basically trying to drive out the hot, the molecules of greater in energy kinetic energy outside. To do this, here we've got the devices. We've got an air conditioner here, and you can see them as our central heating system. Another way that we have heating sometimes is that we have these small portable space heaters. So for example, when I was back in, um, in my last position, we had a house and I had a study in the basement, and in winter it was so cold that I could never survive it without one of these. Oh, that's quite nice in the wind in the summer because it was actually nice and cool. Well, in theory, we can never lose energy. Okay, if my house is perfectly insulated, then I don't think I need to worry about heating, right? I come home, it's warm, I lose no heat, I stay warm. Sure, every time I enter or leave, I have a little bit of heating, but does it matter that much? Not really. However, there are two main mechanisms by which heat can be lost from a home. Firstly, our walls, and even worse, the door or the window, these are not perfectly insulating. So what that means is that heat, okay, can still conduct through the door, through the glass of the window and through our walls, thus leading to heat loss. That is one major source of heat loss. The other major source of heat loss is ventilation heat loss. Okay, and what that means is, that's the best example might be in this house, might be here. This door gap is pretty big, so it's, it gets pretty drafty actually, especially in the winter. And what this does is that in the winter, you actually lose quite a bit of heat, okay, as you get the hot, cold air blowing in. Similarly, whatever the gaps there are in the window acts as a ventilation loss of heat. And so on with the air conditioning vents.